Not from this little corner, which I've been servicing and looking after. Questions from the room? Anyone? Observations? Yes? Can I play the devil's advocate? Say? Play the devil's advocate. I love it. Please. So, because you, like, you sort of alluded to it. So, what's the difference between what you're teaching yes. and Joe Dispenza's work? Oh, I love Dispenza, man. I fucking love Dispenza. <laughs> Uh, I think what he does is absolutely awesome. Joe Dispenza is the real deal. I've done a lot of work with Joe. And the, the difference between Joe and, and, and what I really want people to understand is that if you're doing his work from the current reality, trying to create a future reality, you're actually doing the opposite of everything that he teaches. If you're in the current reality, going into space now, I do all the meditations with him. If you're in the current reality, wanting to do a meditation to create the new one, you're actually reinforcing that you're not there. You go, you got to feel it now. And if there, you've got to be it till you see it. If you then do a meditation for an hour, and then the next thing, the action you take. It, and you don't, yeah. So I have absolutely nothing against what he does. I have things against other modalities a bit more, but I really like what how he puts people into the end result. I really like that a lot. It's not my scope of tonight, but there's a couple other things around um, true creation that he's not teaching but I know he knows it because I've heard him allude to it when he went to uh, the Ramtha Wizard School. He's a good guy. Does he teach it in his higher advanced ways? He doesn't actually. He, he try, he's, got a good, he's got a very good thing and I believe everyone should go and support him. He's, he's doing good. Very good. Good question. Joe's awesome. So to be more specific, what results would you get? So the, the question is, what results do you get? Well, everything that the new identity is, a, is going to achieve. So you said you just literally, what you've been doing for 100 years, do yourself. Yeah. You just yourself, all this stuff. Uh, um, how, could you, how do you just drop your identity just by just don't think about it? Just do it. So the, the question is, how do you drop it? And it, it's by... There's a process. I'm going to explain the process. Where, you know, you guys are both of you are here to yourselves, but you choose who you're going to be. You choose who you're going to be, and then you set a daily practice of reinforcing that emotionally, and then you act from this identity to then reinforce it in the real world. No matter what the world reflects back at you, you're here and you're this. No matter what the world reflects back, because there's two parts to creation. What are they? The internal, the external, right? So is that kind of like you got to have a big enough why? Nah. Okay. Nah. Simon, <laughs> Simon Sinek can sell a book with it though. So here's what I want to cover. The five step method to magically manifest everything you desire. And it's true. It's what you guys are asking me about. Without the risk of failure. I want to talk to you about becoming limitless by using neuroscience and um, some superpowers to become a millionaire. It's going to be good. So, five steps to magically manifest everything. I know that sounds like a ridiculous statement, but it's true. Because everything that you've created has actually happened magically. It's actually happened magically. It's when you've finally become the person to receive that, that there it is. Has anyone experienced that in their life? It actually shows up when you become it, right? Yeah. yeah. That's the truth. But then we have all this other muck and gunk that goes around that we think we have to do to get it. So, so here it is. Oh, I just want to remind you, this isn't mine. This has been passed down to me. And I'm very blessed to have some really cool mentors, including Joe, uh, and lots of other cool people. So here's the steps. The first thing is contribution-based clarity. This means it's all about you. It's not about impacting others, but that's what people think when I put that up. You will be re-given only what you give. Only what you give out will come back. 
So yes, in a business sense, but also energetically. What do you want to give to others? The only way to get love back from others is to what? The only way to get confidence back from others. This is called the Matthew effect. The Matthew effect is from a the book of Matthew. What's that? I have a sun <coughs> it's called the Matthew effect, which is where those who have will be given more, and those that have not, even that will be taken away. You see? It's about what you're giving. So the first question you've got to ask is not what you want to get, but what are you going to give, knowing that whatever you put out is coming back. That's the first step, contribution-based clarity. I mean everything. I mean emotionally, I mean actions, I mean serving, everything. The first thing you've got to ask is not what I want to get, which is what most of us ask, is what I want to give, because you can give it straight away, can't you? You can give confidence to someone, you can give support to someone, you can give it, and in the act of giving it to someone else, you're magically giving it to yourself, because you have to go through it to give it to them. In business and in life, you will be re-given just what you give out. You see? You'll be re-given what you give. And it's obvious, if you want to grow a forest, you first have to give the seed, you have to look after the seed, fertilize the seed, water the seed, look after the tree until it grows into a tree and then it will turn into a forest. But you first gave to be re-given. Does this make sense? The second step is you must have an aligned mind. You must have an aligned mind, which really I want you to think about aligned tension. The tension structures that people ask me about, it's your mind. Must be in going for one thing, not two. Not going for, I want to have, I want to have amazing, I want to have this, but I also want to not have that. It just must be aligned. That's the second most important thing. The third thing is you must transmute your emotions. By doing that, oops, you must transmute your emotions. And I'm going to give you an experience of this soon. You must be living in the emotion of the end result. So those of you who want to create these and you want to keep them, you need to be feeling amazing, confident, light and free, liberated, empowered. You need to feel these. Can you all feel those now? Yes? Because you've got to recondition the body to this. You must live in these feelings. And any time you're not, you must heal them or look after that. What's stopping you? Stay in it. You see? Does that make sense? Any questions on that? You must have a massive action plan. Remember, if you're not acting in alignment with your emotion, what are you telling your subconscious? Staying old. That you're not it. True? You're not it. If you're not acting in, in that alignment, then you're saying you're not it. If you're, if you're going there, I feel so happy, I feel so happy, but you're not doing happy things, right? I'm so abundant, I feel so abundant, and you walk past the person who needs money on the street, and you're not, you see, what are you telling? I'm not abundant, right? I'm so abundant, I'm so abundant, then you open up the menu, and the first thing you look at is the prices before you look at the food. What are you saying? And the last one is you must have peer review. As a, as a species that is in social structures, we must actually have review and be here with people who actually want and are living from the same end result. Very important. In our Magnetic Mind Masterclass, we have everyone that's living from these. You see? And we'll, we'll look at you as this person. Do you know the people that will collapse you back to your current reality the most? The people that have always seen you like that. True? Because you're over here doing these things, but they've always seen you as that. So what do they do? They see you like that. They expect you to be like that. And what collapses it faster than anything? That. True? It's, it's intense. I'll go back home and I'm still treated like, you know, some young kid. True? Because that's how they see you. It's a crucial part. You must have peers that are going to see you as this. 
and it's so different to most things you have heard. Now, some people say to me when I see that, they go, I can't understand how five simple steps will change my life, but it's true, isn't it? It's true, and, and, and here's, here's what I want to let you know, is I grew up in an average background. I, it's true, but it's not just me. I'm a first generation millionaire, but here, here's the truth, 64% of billionaires are self-made. That's what you think about that for a second, 64%, just over two thirds. Why, why billionaires? Why did I pick billionaires? Because it's a really hard big thing to do. They have to know how to create, true? There's only 2,300 billionaires on the whole planet. I know, so these people have done something. And, and sure, money's not everything, of course not. But it's a good measurement of, of someone being able to create. 64% of them are self-made. They're just like us, JK Rowling. Single mum on a, on a train, she didn't have any money to do it. She was in her end result, acting from her end result. She had deals that would pay her far less, got told to write a book that was shorter. You've ever heard the story, right? She was told her book's too long, no one wants a wizard book, it's too long, da 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 So she had all these people say, well, we'll pay you this. She could have stayed in it, I'm not good enough. But she was just true to what her end result was. And she just did it, she just created, she just went for it. I always put Mark Cuban up here, but not many people know who Mark Cuban is. I do, I played uh, basketball professionally, so I know who he is, he, he owns a Dallas Mavericks team. But, but this guy literally was living in a three bedroom apartment with five other guys, and then somehow in the 90s, created a billion dollar company, Micro Solutions, huge. Albert Einstein. Sorry, is he one of the um, sharks in America? Yeah, yes, yeah, he's on the sharks, yeah. Albert Einstein, another one, in his end result. Doesn't matter what was being said over here, in the end result. See, Jim Carrey, another one, and Steven Spielberg, and we can just go over these people that we know. They're all self-made, is it true? And what does that mean? So I want to make sure this lands with you. When I say they're self-made, what does that mean? They created who they are. Self-functioning. They created who you are, self-functioning. Action. They spent time on themselves. Spent time on themselves. They believed in themselves. They had to lose the old identity. They all had to stop being that and become this in order to accept it and keep it. True? Notice what we all said though, they worked on themselves, they did this, they which is all true, but a lot of people work on themselves, do those things. The ones that shift, that are self-made, they do one thing different, and that is they shift their identity, who they are. If you go and ask their friends back in high school, I bet you they don't see the person that we see now. True? They would have saw someone that had fears, and this, and that. Who's with me? Show of hands, who's with me? Right? They had to forget being that and become self-made. Is it true? Yeah. That's the truth. And that's why you have to understand this. So, you can actually change. And it's proven by science. Not that you need to have science to prove it. But brain plasticity. Has anyone heard of this thing called brain plasticity before? Your brain is literally plastic. Meaning, it can mold itself. <laughs> not literally. Everyone just went, oh, literally? No, not literally. But here's what's interesting. I just want to show you a demo of how the brain is actually plastic. Can I ask a question though? How many of you have had an aha moment tonight? Show of hands. Who's had an aha moment? We've gone, ah, oh, that's something new. Has that happened to all of you tonight? Let me show you what happened in your brain when you're doing that. Okay, this is a, a brain zoomed up of someone learning. This is literally, I, I, this is so fascinating to me. This is what happened in your brain when you had an aha. You're learning something new. And things are traveling around. You're thinking about two separate things. When we zoom in on set two separate things, here's one thought, here's another thought. The aha moment is when they connect. That's literally the aha moment. Who just had an aha moment watching about? That's what's happening. You're thinking about this, and then it goes, ah, oh, that's a new connection. And it's called the reconsolidation moment. And in 2001, they proved it. They proved that our brain can reconnect no matter how old or how young it is. It can learn new ways of being. 
But whatever you reinforce continues. I know people are going, that kind of looks like a sperm up there, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Kinda. But isn't that cool? Your brain is literally able to relearn and create aha. And if you have had an aha moment, ah, that's it, an epiphany, you have a functional brain that can retrain itself to be something new. Is that cool? How good is that, by the way? Right? That is how cool it is, but it will not change if we keep reinforcing who we've always been. With me? Yeah. By the way, how good is that? It's so good. So you can just know that you can change it. So the first thing is, is you must decide. And that is sometimes the biggest problem. You have to decide, just like you did before, you have to decide which option you're going to take. It's actually not that much of a big deal. It's kind of like just selecting off a menu. I'll just take that. I'll just take millionaire. <coughs> Notice that. God, how could I just choose that? But you do. It's just one option on the menu. That's it. There's no emotion. But you just choose it. You see it done with perfect completion and then we're neuro-emotional in bed. So here's how you do that. Step one is we always must be deciding on that next end result. The next end result. I'm going to create this. And so for you in the front VIP section, you just want to create a business or a career that supports your family, that feels really good. That's what I'm going to do. And then you choose it and you just pick it off the menu. I remember um, someone says um, the enemy of the wonderful life is a good life. The enemy of a wonderful life is a good life. I, I would, I would, I would say that that person is uh, fighting an interesting battle, for sure. Yeah, I've seen so many good, good people like the builders. My friends, they they started good, and they end up divorcing really. Yeah. Control, everything. Because uh, yeah, they need they need to be in their old result. So they were here, and they thought, if I get the marriage, if I get the this, if I get the that, oh well, that will make me feel whole and loved again. But they weren't actually going for what they want. They were trying to complete themselves, which is actually not my. I've got a whole talk on that, by the way. <laughs> I didn't interrupt, but maybe later on. It's good. Yeah. Perfect completion. A lot of us are seeing what we don't want to happen. And we're literally creating that by not actually doing a visualization every single day. We're seeing it done the wrong way. And then lastly is the neuro and emotional embed. Is you must feel the feelings and be in it already done. So let me ask you, what are you learning right now? What are you getting? I want to get a couple shares. What are you guys actually getting from this? How to make it happen, how to already be in it so that it moves. I like it. What else? What are you learning right now? What are you learning right now? Some of the old traits are being taught not, uh, not to clear our science now. It is. If you're here and that's your future, what you have to do is stop trying to work on this thing and figure out this. Just do. You need to be here and acting from it. Because how easy does that structure move if you're already feeling it? Let's take the opportunity to work the rest out later. Right? You move. Yes, that's a, that, that you should write that down. That's true. You be here. See how hard that structure is. I've got to move this whole thing to here. I've got to fix my whole everything here and become this. You see how hard? That's like a skyscraper, isn't it? Versus I'm going to be here and I'm going to act from here. That's the ball. That's the, it's moving. You're there. Because when you're here, you're, you're learning it. That's it. Yeah. Who's with me on that? That's the key. It's why it hasn't worked yet and that's why you came today. That's why your brain clicked on that picture. It wasn't just my good looks. It was everything else. Oh, it's a secret. Perfect completion. So when you do this, and we're about to do it, by the way. You guys excited about that? I'm going to take you through it. Take you through a process. 
right? For those of you who got the, uh, the meditation already, then you've already enjoyed it, but we'll do it live. Does that sound good? Yeah. You must see it done perfectly. You must feel it done perfectly. You've got to get into it and then act from it and then act from it. So those are the three. Let's do an exercise. Are you guys up for it? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Anyone not up for it? I'm up. You're up for it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> cool. So here's what I want you to do. Is I want you to write down something you want to create in your life, something in the future that you haven't created. Write it down. It could be the thing you wrote before, but make it something easy. Make it something easy. Something you really want, though. Something you want. Something you desire. Can be big, can be small. Just do whatever. Just write something down that you truly desire, okay? And I'll work with someone. I'll work with someone. Not someone who hasn't shared that much already, who's been hiding, telling their unconscious. She's like, fuck off, fuck off. I'm a non-sharing person. All right, who wants to share? Who wants to share the thing they want to create? It's more magic when I, yes. Company actually, I already started, and uh, as a nanotechnological futures. So, what, what's the end result? What are you wanting to create? Uh, just uh, selling the uh, know how of internationally. So, I just create something and selling knowledge formula, but actually physical stuff. So, what is, what's the end result? Is, uh, you know, is freedom. Money? Is it not money? But what, what do you want to do? One of the biggest things is we don't get clear on what we're trying to create. So what is it you want to create? But the money, if I get the lottery, just the money, it wouldn't make me happy. I don't care. I'm not talking about making you happy. Notice how much stuff you've got around this. I didn't say make you happy. I didn't say anything because you should already be happy and complete. You've got a lot of work to do on this. It's big because it won't make you freaking happy. You've got to already be happy. This is the whole point of tonight. It's the whole thing. So the question is this, it's very simple, not what will make you happy. And it's a big one, isn't it funny? Look at everyone stuck with this. Just what would you like to create? What's something you'd like to have that you don't have? Company. A company? Yeah. You don't have that right now, you'd like to have a company? Yeah, like uh, the company has this sort of achievements. Yeah, good, so you'd like to have a company? Yeah. Doing with achievements? Yeah. Good. Anyone else got a result they want me to, uh, to work on up here with you? It's going to be important. Reinvent financial services and create a thousand coaches. Create a thousand coaches is the end result. Reinvent your financial services isn't an end result because it's going to take you somewhere. So a thousand what? A thousand, so to train a thousand coaches? I like it. Anyone got one more or are we good to go? Good. Be a billionaire. All right. So what I want you to do is I want you to write your end result down and I want you to put a circle around it. Just draw a circle around it like I've done there. Do a circle around it. And by doing a circle around it, you're, you're deciding that it's a point. It's done. It's a circle and it's enclosed. It's a thing that is there. It is done. Okay. Has everybody done this? Yes? This is yes, this is no. Is anyone having challenges with this? Yes. What's your challenge? I don't understand. You don't understand what? I haven't told you it yet. Oh, <laughs> so step number one is I want you to choose an end result, something that you want to create. Do you mean create or like a goal? Do you mean create or goal? I think that's where the confusion is. No, I don't think it's where the confusion is. It's what is it that you would like to have? What would you like to create? The word goal is not the right word because goal means something I'm moving towards. Create is like a piece of art. It's already here, so it's a specific thing. Notice just how much stuff we have around just deciding what we want to have. It has to be a goal. It has to be something I work towards. I have to strive towards it. I'm not it. So my question for you, you've already got yours written down. I know that about you already. Can it, can it be abstract, though, what, what we're talking about right now? Is it only specifically about uh, business? No, just write down a goal. It can be a relationship, it can be whatever. What's an end result you want to create? Have you got it? Yeah. What is it? Great energy. You want to have great energy? Fantastic. 
Awesome. Anyone else struggling on this that I can help? Everyone got it? Because we're going to go into it and create it. Sound good? So, once you've thought about this and you've got it there, what we're going to do is we're going to go into it, okay? I'm going to have you close your eyes. I'm going to take you into it and you're going to live it as done by listening to me. Does this sound good? Everyone following this so far? And then what's going to happen, I'm going to ask you, now that you're this person, what is the obvious next step that you need to take? Why would I ask that question? To get you into action so that you're coming from where Because you must act from a place of already having it, not on a place of striving towards it. Does this make sense? Yeah. Everyone with me? You don't have to do it. If you do want to, we can do it. So if you've got a pens down, put a circle around what it is that you want to create and close your eyes and listen to my voice. Take a couple big deep breaths and just relax for a second. And just relax into the moment. A couple big deep breaths and just kind of feel the chair holding you up. Close your eyes and step into it. That's it. And just let this, the, the weight of the workshop drop off, weight of your day, and just be there. And a couple big breaths like you're really relaxing. And as you relax, I just want you to choose right now to step into that end result. Just choose to step into it. Choose to step right into that end result right now with both feet, jump right in. And as you step in, I want you to ask yourself, what does it feel like to be this now? And give that feeling to yourself. That's it, give it to yourself, give yourself permission. I know you might need to imagine to imagine it. What does it feel like? And give that feeling to you now. What is life like in this end result? And I want you to breathe in and kind of start to create an energy inside of you with every breath of this feeling. And I want you to allow that feeling to get bigger and bigger. Teach your body the end result. Teach it. What's it like? How do you feel? Who are you now that this is what you are now? How good is that? It's good, isn't it? What do you say to yourself when you're there? And as you do, I want you just to allow this to be and to really resonate through your whole body. Allow it to ring true and feel it. Allow that ball to get bigger and bigger and bigger. Fill yourself with white light, filled with this whole goal. Just feel it and notice what it's like to be this person. Give yourself this feeling. Give it to you. And as you're there giving this feeling to yourself, I want you to ask yourself, what is the obvious next action that I take? What is the obvious next action that I take? And when you've got it, open your eyes and write it down. If you don't know it, keep your eyes closed, go into it, feel into the end result, Get in the moment and ask yourself, what is the most obvious action I'm going to take now? What is it? Did you get it? What do you got to do? Um, I'm completing a motorcycle, which is parts on my floor. I'm not a mechanic, but... You're going to do it? Put it all back together. So, the obvious next step is to get on Go and do it. Now you need to tell your subconscious and go start it straight away. It's good. Finish it, yeah. What else? Who else got an obvious next step? What'd you get? Oh, you've been doing the meditations already? Good. Oh, good. <laughs> Nice, I love it. Who else has got the obvious next step? Yeah. Complete amplify fast and do the other courses. Good for you. Smash it. I love it. Who else? What do you got? Me? Yeah. Oh, well, I have to go to Karumban RSL tomorrow and to talk to the vets that I want to help. 
Nice. I love it. How else? What's yours? Launch day. Launch. Start it. Go do it. What else? What did you get? so true. Most of us know our obvious next step when we get into the end result. The fundamental thing that I wanted everyone to get from today is if you're staying and standing at point A, back here, trying to solve it, trying to do anything to get somewhere, you got it all wrong. And it won't manifest. That structure won't release. You have to understand how to get in it. Here's the challenge. Everything you want to create financially, emotionally, spiritually, whatever it is, starts from the end result. But what will happen is you'll get knocked off the end result a lot off this feeling and you'll go back to there. Does that sound good? You've got to know how to do this. And the way that we do it, I want to talk to you in a second about the Magnetic Mind process. We have a two-day event here in the Gold Coast. We have over 24 meditations. You guys have got the two intro ones or three intro ones. If you bought a VIP ticket, I think you've got a couple extra. Uh, we have an online university with over 30 hours of actually explaining this. I've only covered one aspect of the whole program. And so my question is, who would like to hear about that program and understand it? Awesome. So we'll have a, a two minute uh, decide if you want to hear about the program or not. If you don't, uh, no stress, you know, I wouldn't want you to sit here and have to listen to me talk about it. I will be talking about a price and people will take action and stuff like that. And, if you got enough from today and you're feeling good, then uh, I love you and uh, super excited. I hope you get the meditations and it's awesome. But if you do want to stay and hear about it, I will be talking about take 20 or so minutes and uh, I'll be talking about a price and we've got, got a special offer and things for people who want to want to take some action. So to, to kind of put a, uh, an ending to what we've covered, did everyone enjoy their evening tonight? Yes. Yeah, good. Oh, thank you. Thank you. So I just want to just ask two or three people just to give us a couple shares of what was what really landed that they think is going to make a difference moving forward for them, and then uh, we'll call it. Who's got a few? Yeah. Um, well, the tension thing, absolutely. Tension seeking um, resolution structure, yeah. nice. And again, because I did a couple of the meditations a few times, and I will say knowing some people who are further on the track with your. Yeah. And I'm seeing huge results. Oh, they've shifted so huge. Huge, 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 yeah. huge. I know. Huge. Like they're living there more now, which is great because, you know, it makes yeah. my world better as well when the, you know, the people that I'm connected to it's are true. already there too. So no, thank you. It's really You're welcome. Yeah. You're welcome. Awesome. Thank you. Mm. What else? A couple more shares. What was big? Tension seeking resolution was one. Yeah. What I loved was the fact that you took us right through the example of how you actually manifest something into your life. Um, sometimes when you read or when you hear or when you talk, you don't understand it completely until you actually do it. And so yeah. that for me put it in place, that sort of... The example at the end. Yeah. That is how you manifest. And now you, but now you've got to continue on that path and stay in that vibe and continue to act. No tree grows into a forest by someone sitting on a mountain meditating. I don't care how many people try to tell you that that's going to happen. Nature is nature. There is an act in the 3D reality. Is it true? You know, how great it's going to be to have this tree, this forest. It's so, it just doesn't happen unless there's the correct action. True? Yeah, what else? What else would you guys like to share with me that really landed? It's good for me to hear. Yeah. Mistake number two was very beautiful. Mistake number two, which is? Trying to heal the current reality to then allow a new reality to pop out of the ether. Yeah. The epigenetics of how, because I love science, of how that Me transmits. Too. And if you can change that transmission of that thought to the emotion, then the gene will change to get you out of that current reality. Yeah, Bruce Lipton made it so. She told us all about it. It's big. Any other last shares? Yes, sir. Yeah, I've been uh, aware of this changing our identity thing for a few weeks. <laughs> Days ago, I wrote in my diary, you know, to define the new identity. Yes. Yes. And the source that I've been getting this idea from didn't actually say how to. Ah, well, so now you're here. The steps under it, so do this, do that. The steps is really awesome. You're welcome. You cannot create 
what a new identity would have by staying in the old identity. It's just an impossibility. It's an impossibility and it can't heal. It just doesn't work. So thank you. You must create a new one. But the great thing is, is our brain is plastic. It's movable. It's, it's possible. Anyone itching to share? Are we all shared out? We're all good?